What is going on, guys? I want to talk about Tate Martell, man. Uh, he just found out that he is not going to be the starting quarterback for the season opener against the Florida Gators. And and he basically, his journey to Miami makes this even more uh, worse for him and hilarious for other people who are reveling in what he is going through at this moment. Now, I just want to say this. Now, I know there's a lot of different issues that can get you to where you are. But when you are not focused on football, when you think that you're supposed to be handed the starting job, you tend to lash out. You tend to feel some type of way. Now, how I equate this to dating this particular Instagram model, because this pretty much shows that his future, his focus was not 100% into winning the star job. I'm not saying that he didn't work hard. What I'm saying is this. When you transfer from Ohio State to Miami, and but first off, you left Ohio State because you did not want to deal with quarterback competition, okay, from Justin Fields. And what was that that quote that, that has people uh, basically reveling in what is going on with him? What he said um, about how if... This was a tweet from Tate Martell to Justin Fields <laughs> before Justin Fields went to Ohio State and Tate Martell fled from Ohio State. Words of advice. Don't swing and miss, especially not on your second time. Now, that tweet has not aged well. Well, maybe it has. And people are memeing this. People are clowning him about that because... Apparently, now this is alleged, but there's a photo going out that showed that he basically trashed his locker and his nameplate was on the ground. And I believe this to be true because he ended up missing practice. I believe he was suspended from practice, but he is expected to be back at practice as of me recording this video. And I think that when you are not focused on being the guy instead of being handed you know, the prestige of being the guy and you're not going out there and earning it, the coaches can see that. People can see when you're not focused on it, when you're used to everything being handed to you. And going out and dating Instagram models doesn't help, bro. You haven't gotten to the league yet and you're already dating women who are basically using you for clout, bro. Because that's all it is. If you go to this particular person's Instagram, they are about basically advertising themselves. And this in in the Instagram model he's dating, her name is Kiki Paso. I mean, I see why he got distracted by her, but she's about building her brand. Look at her Instagram stories. Nassau, Los Angeles, Paros, Knoxos, Athens, Budapest. This is your girlfriend traveling the world. On whose dime? <laughs> I wonder whose dime she's traveling the world in. But that's a whole nother subject. And the fact that she's a student. Well, be that as it may, she did put up a post um, showing him support. How long this is going to last, we don't know. She put up a IG story with him and her in two different pictures. It says, to the strongest and most amazing person I ever met. I love you to the moon, she wrote. Now, again, this could blossom into a long-term relationship, maybe even a marriage. But to me, I feel like Tate Martell comes off as a guy who's entitled. If he really cared about competition, he would have stayed at Ohio State. But he didn't stay. He didn't stay because he knew he'd lose the starting job. It was going to be a new head coach. A head coach that was not going to kiss up to him, that was not going to pat him on the back and, you know, uh, pan, you know sort of pander to him. He knew he was going to have to work, so he left. And what he ended up doing is going to a program who ha not only has a new coach and a new culture, but cares more about winning than about playing the former five star recruit quarterback. Now, Tate. You know, is a guy who's been in the spotlight for a while. He was on Netflix, QB1, 
that's how a lot of people got you know introduced to him so he went from being on cube not we introduced him but people got to know his personality and his family and you see why he's the way he is i'm not saying that he doesn't have good parents but i'm saying that he's used to pretty much getting whatever he wants you know living in las vegas going to bishop gorman and you look at the facilities they have there you know and i think that he does have a sense of entitlement instead of going out there and earning the job he loses to a to a red shirt freshman that has to hurt a guy who was considered an underdog for the starting job but i truly believe that jaron williams okay jaron williams has pretty much been eyed for the quarterback job since the start of fall camp i believe i believe he has the tools what they're looking for i think he's a blade he's a he's a blank slate even though he was there last year he red shirted I don't think they have a lot of belief in Nicosi Perry. Uh, Perry Nicosi Perry. I don't think that Nicosi uh, has really progressed that much from last year to this year. He may have progressed a little. You know, he's he's he would be the safe choice because he's been there. But I think they want to go with somebody they feel like is a gamer, somebody who is going to be able to make plays for them, and somebody who is is taking to co coaching a lot better than Tate Martell has. And I'm not hating on Tate Martell, but I, there are a slew of content creators who really are in the Tate Martell fan club. And the thing is with me is that I want to follow a guy who's a leader, a winner, who cares about winning, who cares about competing. I don't want to follow a guy who was a five-star recruit, a guy who is cocky arrogant whatever but can't seem to win the starting job nowhere no matter where he goes every time he's faced with adversity he sort of runs away from it now we don't know what he's gonna do now i don't think he's going to transfer anytime soon maybe he will i mean he has this this new girlfriend that he's been dating for about a month and a half we'll see how long that lasts but when he's no longer a topic of conversation we'll see if she's still there you know, it could be a Johnny Manziel situation. The particular Instagram model he married, she really believed he was going to get back to the NFL. And when it didn't materialize, she was ready to go. She was willing to put up with everything that he was doing. But in this situation, I think that Tate Martell is where he is because of him. Um, we're going to see if he... Uh, transfers but i truly believe if you're not focused on winning and focus on being competitor and competing and focusing on uh winning and you're getting easily distracted you know don't it, i would say seek look them not look i would say play the situation out because anything can happen from now to the next couple of weeks jaron williams could could totally flop as far as a starting quarterback and you end up leaving that just shows me you're afraid of competition